everyone, my name is Kristen and I am a designer for Power Apps. Today, I'll be walking you through one of the latest express design features called Figma to App, which was released earlier this year at Build. Figma to App is a feature that allows makers to import their Figma designs directly into Power Apps. In its current phase, makers need to start their designs utilizing the Microsoft Power Platform Built Community UI Toolkit in order to successfully import their designs to Power Apps. Simply go to figma.com or the community page in the Figma desktop app, search Create App from Figma, and select the Microsoft-owned toolkit. From there, you'll land on the toolkit detail page where you can find more in-depth information, tips and tricks, and can also browse through the different pages of the toolkit. Feel free to hit the like button and then make a copy of the toolkit. The copy will automatically be duplicated into your personal drafts and from there, you can immediately start building your app. It's best to read through all of the in-depth documentation our team has thoughtfully put together starting from the read this first page all the way through to the step four next steps page. But seeing as how this is a tutorial, we'll just jump right in. So today we will be building a simple RSVP app. We can start building right on the step two design your app page in the designated space. Then we'll flip the left panel to our assets panel and from there, you can see all of the local components that the toolkit contains. Keep in mind that these components were all specifically built by our team to account for the Power Apps backend technology. The first thing to decide is, do I want to make a phone or tablet sized app? Since I'm a mobile first kind of person, I'll go ahead and select phone and grab the screen component and drag it onto the page. From there, you'll notice that there's some hint text letting you know that it's best to detach the screen before adding additional components to your app. So I'll select the screen and right click to access the contextual menu and scroll down to detach instance. Once the component is detached, you'll notice that when I select it, it's no longer purple indicating that it is in fact properly detached. Then I can go ahead and delete the hint text so I can start to visualize and build my app. The second big thing to decide is, do I want to build a form-based app or a container-based app? If you're new to Power Apps, it's good to note that form-based apps are built to capture data, much like when you enter your name or address when filling out your shipping information on an e-com site. Containers allow for a more freeform design, for instance, a landing page. For our demo today, I'll be utilizing the form-based component, which is the second component in the 00 scrollable section. I'll simply grab the component and drag it to fit inside my phone screen. The hint text once again lets me know that I'll need to detach this before adding additional components from the toolkit. So I'll step through that detachment process once again by right-clicking while selecting the component. Before I delete the hint text, it's helpful to note that point number two lets me know that I can use only data card components, which are found right below the 09 timer component. This is a helpful tip from our trusty Power Platform team that once again takes the Power Apps technical backend into account. Once I delete the hint text, I can then begin designing my app. I'm going to change the background color of the screen to a branded Power Apps color and change the form component background color to white. Next, I'll go into the horizontal data card section and grab the header component. I'll drop that into the form component and change the width to fill container. I'll type in Power Apps RSVP as the title for my app. Next, I'll go to the vertical 
data card section and grab the text input component and drop it into the form. Again, I'll change the label to reflect the information I'm looking to collect from guests. In this instance, I'll change the first one to name. I'll duplicate this text input component and change the label of the second one to email. Feel free to change the hint text too. Next, I'll go ahead and choose the radio button component, which is the second component inside the 04 toggle checkbox radio area of the vertical data card section. I'll drop that into my form and once again adjust it to fill container. I'll then go ahead and type in the text options for my guests. You'll notice that the, the default color of the selected radio button is blue, but I want to change the color to something that matches my app. I can grab the component and view the selection colors in the property panel on the right. I'll select the blue and it will surface all the available colors in the toolkit. I can also choose to detach the color by hovering over the color name, select the break link icon, and enter in my own custom hex value. But for this demo today, I'll be utilizing one of the PA UI kit default colors. Lastly, I want to add a CTA button so that my guests can submit their responses. So I'll simply go to the assets panel once again and grab the 01 button component from the phone section and drag it into my app. What's important to note is that because I'm using a form component, I need to make sure that the button component is outside of the form component. Otherwise, it will not import properly. So I'll flip to the layers panel and rearrange my button to be outside of the form, center align it, and change the color and text. Once that's done, I'm ready to import this directly into Power Apps. So first things first, I'll need to go to powerapps.microsoft.com and sign in. Once I'm on the home page, I'll select the tile that says Figma under the Start From section. A pop-up modal will appear and I'll enter in a name for my app. Next, I'll copy and paste the Figma frame of my app by simply grabbing the app frame, right-clicking, and selecting Copy Paste as a link. Then I'll need to copy and paste my Figma token from my Figma account, which can be found by accessing the home page. I'll select my avatar and go to settings. Once the setting modal pops up, I'll simply scroll down to the personal access token section. I'll type in a token description, hit enter, and wait for the token to populate. You'll see it pops up in a bright color and you can copy your token directly from the copy this token link. Then I'll go back to Power Apps and paste this token into the appropriate section, select phone, and then hit create. In just a few moments, your app will be ready to go inside Power Apps. From there, you can then begin to hook data up to your app. But if you'd like to learn more about this, please feel free to visit the step four next steps page of our toolkit documentation to help you walk through that process. So hopefully by now you feel confident in using our Microsoft Power Apps Toolkit in order to get started with this exciting express design feature. An important thing to note is in order to get the best conversion result, it's highly recommended to use the UI toolkit we provided to design your app. Just as a refresher, the reason for this is due to the technical backend complexity of Power Apps itself. So our team has built this kit to specifically address those very constraints. While approaching design from this way might be different from your usual workflow, our team is hard at work on future versions of this kit and feature that will allow for increased levels of customization. For more information on the step-by-step -step details of how to use this toolkit and feature, please read through our detailed documentation inside our toolkit. Thank you again for watching and happy making.